Now let's talk about the sucker, the IP address. He looks kind of weird, kind of dorky, technical. He's a mess of numbers separated by dots, three dots. So that's already strange by itself, but then we have this guy and then this guy. What are they doing? Well, they are basically your IP address's best friends. We'll talk more about them here in a bit, but this guy right here is Mr. Subnet Mask. At least that's what he's called in Windows over here. On Mac or Linux, you might see NetMask, same thing. And then this gal right here is Miss Default Gateway. She also goes by Default Router or just Router for short. But enough about them. Let's talk about the star of the show, the one we care about, the IP address. I'm a star, a great big shining star. Let's first cover how in the world did he even get here? How did your device get this number? Who gave it to him? Is it safe? Who gave this to you, device? Who are you? Numbers. Actually, that's a legit question. Sometimes you can get a bad IP address. Different video for another time. So how did your device get this IP address? Did it just fall out of the sky? Yeah, kind of, if you're using Wi-Fi. You see, in your homes and in your businesses, we have this thing called a router. It may look familiar. It might be hiding in your closet underneath that sweater you got for Christmas, which by the way, rescue it. Get that sweater off of him, he has to breathe. It gets hot in there. The router is the Oprah of your IP addresses. What? Every time a device connects to your network, she says, here, here's an IP address, here's an IP address for you, and for you, and for you. Everyone gets an IP address. Now this dark and mysterious magic known as DHCP is why this works. If you wanna learn more about that, we'll talk about that later. But essentially, Oprah gives your devices IP addresses. That's what I want your takeaway to be, write that down.